Hey everyone! Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fun and exciting topic, how to say the Spanish alphabet. Whether you're just starting to learn Spanish or need a refresher, you're in the right place. Let's jump right in. First things first, let's talk about the Spanish alphabet. Did you know that it has 27 letters? That's right, one more than the English alphabet. But don't worry, it's not as intimidating as it sounds. Each letter has its own unique sound, making it easier to learn and pronounce. Let's break down the pronunciation of each letter of the Spanish alphabet. A is pronounced as A, ah, similar to the A in father. B is pronounced as B, with a soft B sound. C has two pronunciations, before E or I, it sounds like TH in thin, while before A, O, or U, it sounds like K. D is pronounced as D, with a soft D sound. E is pronounced as E, similar to the E in bed. F is pronounced as FA, with a soft F sound. G also has two pronunciations, before E or I, it sounds like the H in hot, while before A, O, or U, it sounds like G in go. H is silent in Spanish. I is pronounced as E, -E similar to the E in C. J is pronounced as hota, with a throaty sound similar to the Scottish lock. K is pronounced as ka, similar to the English pronunciation. L is pronounced as ela, with a soft L sound. M is pronounced as M, -E, similar to the English pronunciation. N is pronounced as N, -A, similar to the English pronunciation. N is pronounced as N, -A, with a New York sound like the N, I in onion. O is pronounced as O, similar to the O in go. P is pronounced as P, with a soft P sound. Q is pronounced as Q, similar to the English pronunciation. R is pronounced as R, with a rolled R sound. S is pronounced as A-C-H, similar to the English pronunciation. T is pronounced as T, with a soft T sound. U is pronounced as O-O, similar to the O-O in boot. D is pronounced as B, similar to the English B sound. W is not native to the Spanish alphabet, but is used in borrowed words. X is pronounced as X, similar to the English pronunciation. Y is pronounced as E Grega, similar to the English pronunciation. Z is pronounced as Eda, similar to the English pronunciation. Now, let's talk about pronunciation speed. It's important to start slow and gradually increase your speed as you become more comfortable with the alphabet. Remember, practice makes perfect. Lastly, don't forget to use resources like pronunciation guides and online tutorials to help you along the way. There are plenty of tools out there to support your learning journey. And there you have it, folks. You're well on your way to mastering the Spanish alphabet. Keep practicing, stay consistent, and most importantly, have fun with it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more language learning tips. Hasta luego. See you later.